ratios and unit rates. Fractions are important tools for solving many types of problems. However, not all fractions are alike. This video explores two special types of fractions, ratios and unit rates. Ratios compare two numbers that are the same type. For example, the gears on a bike are different sizes. For every one turn of the larger gear, near the pedal, the smaller gear, near the back wheel, turns three times. This means that the ratio is one turn to three turns. Both the numerator and the denominator in this ratio describe the number of turns. Knowing ratios can help you solve problems. Try this one. How many times will the small gear turn if the cyclist pushes the pedal to make three complete rotations? For every one turn of the larger gear, the smaller gear turns three times. In this problem, the cyclist turns the larger gear three times. To solve, take three times three to get nine turns. The smaller gear will turn nine times. Unit rates are another special type of fraction. These numbers have different units in the numerator and the denominator. They also have a denominator of one. For example, the number of students per classroom is a unit rate. Saying per classroom is the same as saying in one classroom. We frequently encounter unit rates in our daily lives. Cars drive a speed limit measured in miles per hour and their fuel economy is measured in miles per gallon. The nutritional information on the side of a container is given as the amount per serving. We can even see how many servings there are per box. According to this label, there are 2.5 servings of soup per can, two grams of fat, and 60 calories are present in each serving. Unit rates can be particularly helpful when comparing prices while shopping. For instance, what if you are trying to decide whether to purchase the smaller 16-ounce box of cereal that is on sale for $2.65 or the 28-ounce value size for $3.80? Determining a unit rate of price per ounce can help you figure out which option is the real bargain. The unit price for the smaller box is $2.65 divided by 16 ounces. This equals about 17 cents per ounce. The unit price for the larger box is $3.80 divided by 28 ounces. This equals 14 cents per ounce. Even though the smaller box is on sale, the value size box is still the better deal. Now that you know how ratios and unit rates are used, you are ready to solve these problems in your daily life.